Boom. 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 Hey everyone, I want to show you how the Life Chopper for Ableton Live Max for Life device works. How you need to, what do you need to do to set it up. So let's have a look on the device. So it's, um, it will work with every MIDI controller which is sending MIDI notes. So for example, uh, the MPD simple controller here, a push or even a drum pad controller or even just your uh, computer keyboard would work for this purpose. So you need to send in MIDI notes and um, those MIDI notes will trigger and we can have a look here. We got a pitch in section here where you can see to which MIDI note those pads will listening to record and to replay your live um, audio if you're beatboxing or if you're recording the audience or whatever. So uh, you can change this, those pitches as well. You have those uh, fields here. You can press S and then hit a button and this will change it to the MIDI note pitch. It will detect the MIDI note pitch you're sending in automatically. So um, per default, this is set up to listen to C1 up to G1. So this is the usual layout or the usual pitch layout on um, pad controllers like uh, which have like a four by four um, ratio here. Okay, all right, so two very important things for the setup here first. So as we are recording into clips, we need to make sure that we are setting the global launch clip quantization to none. So you can do this up here and now no clip um, will wait when you trigger it to record so it will record instantly so as we are recording clips so we need to do this so um, if you get and you get a little warning here global launch um, if you want to set this to none you can just click on the none here and it sets it to none as well the same goes for the count in isn't none so you got in your preferences um, oops in your preferences under record warp launch you can select if you want a count in when you are recording obviously we want to record instantly here so we need to set the count in here to none as well and you can see on the device itself if it gives you a warning if this is not being set to uh, none so both of those are giving you warnings so this is just to um, let you know, hey, something red, something is lighting up, fix this. You are able to record into tracks and into scenes here. So you can, if, if I just record quickly something, let me turn on the microphone. Check, check, check. Okay, so if I now hit this button, it will instantly record and uh, on release, it will stop recording. So if I hit it now, 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 you can hear I get a quite long sample here and I have recorded a clip now into the first track after um, my MIDI track where this device is sitting on. So this device obviously listens to MIDI, so it needs to sit on a MIDI device, uh, on a MIDI track. And the next up to next eight audio tracks will be controlled via that. So you would need eight audio tracks after your track here. And they need to be obviously set to receive the audio from. I would advise you to turn the monitor, to set the monitor to off and have one channel where the audio is passing through all the time, all the time, all the time. But um, on the same time, it's recording to, or it's passing through to those different tracks here as well. And when you hit record, and then if you replay something, uh, the audio will be audible. Cool, so um, you need to make sure that your track number here um, matches to the tracks you want to control. Okay, so if you want to control eight tracks, you got an eight in here. If you want to record to scene one, which is the first one here, it needs to be set to one. If you change track ordering or anything here, you need to hit refresh once, or if you reload your Ableton Live set, the complete Ableton Live set, but 
obviously quicker refresh and then um, it will detect which tracks are next here and just making sure so if I say well I actually I only want to control four tracks then I delete those four and I set the track number to four and I hit refresh just making sure that not more MIDI is controlling tracks after that um, if that would be the case okay so let's set this back to eight and we can just quickly hit eight um, duplicate those tracks here done and we can just clean those things out here actually we can I can show you um, cleaning out clips here so deleting clips or maybe let's do the recording first sorry okay so recording modes we have different recording modes so for example we can um, have listen to off so that's kind of like the, the, the play mode here so if I record a long sample long sample long sample and it will and it will play sorry two microphones here so and it will play um, the whole sample when I have nothing activated here long sample yeah even if I release the button the whole sample will be played if I um, have listen to off activated it will stop when I release the button here long sample long sample and release long sam long sample yeah okay so uh one shot or repeat mode so if i got something um let's say i uh, make beat bomb checked gum the checker bomb checked gum the checker bomb checked gum the checker bomb checked gum it will repeat the sample and then I need to activate listen to off or choke to make this off to turn this off so if I want to repeat uh, a whole loop I can use this function here and if I release it because listen to off to the off note um, a message here it will stop then if I want to have two different ones uh, maybe let's record something on the second one ticket 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 so now I have those two ones here I got bomb checked gum check up bomb checked gum check up and I got the second one ticket 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 and I might want to have a choke function here, which means um, only one sample can play at a time. So now if I hit this one, it will keep looping because it's not listening to off. I de deactivate the listen to off. And now if I hit the second one, yeah um cool so um those are the different modes okay so if i want to block certain midi notes so uh maybe let's go through the delete function here because um midi notes we can use midi notes obviously i can hit those buttons here delete all which will delete all those um samples i already recorded um but i can use a note input for that as well and as i have more notes than only eight um, from my controller here I could use different pads here so I could set up a different pad here for the delete function and now if I would hit that pad it would delete all but I want to show you something different while I have some samples in here I got a delete switch so I could actually use the switch here and then select the sample I want to delete so I don't delete all maybe I just want to delete the first one and the same with a note here as well so let's set this up with a note for example so if I now hit this delete switch you can see um, it's lightning up orange and I can now hit the pad I want to delete so for example if I want to delete pad one 
done, you know? So I can use this one for deleting, the delete switch, or the delete all, just to show you. Bomb deleting all is done like this. Cool. So this way, it's a quite nice and easy setup to quickly record stuff and to replay this live. Um, obviously, it's 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 thought for performance here. So uh, you need to practice a little to make the things are. Uh, um, instant and cool obviously so it's it's like playing a little instrument here one more thing um you have notes uh blocked or notes going through so for example if i have if i want to play something different a different instrument in the back on the same track here i could do this but you can see midi is coming in here midi indicator before and the midi after this device is blocked um so if i click uh, activate through here you can see midi is going through okay so um yeah this is all of the device there is a little template of a tracks you can just drag and drop those in here to set them up um obviously you need to set up your tracks uh, yourself a little here i group them so um it's nice to have a group for that and so it's a little bit more um how do you say it's just a little bit cleaner, cleaner, cleaner. Yes. Okay. So um, thanks for watching. So this is a Max for Life device. Max for Life is included in Ableton Live Suite or can be bought as an add-on towards Ableton Live Standard. But you can get as well the free Ableton Live Suite trial for three months and then get my device. To get my device, links in the video description. Um, yes. Cool. Nice one. Take care. Bye-bye.